for as long we can remember people needed to travel from one place to another how we did this many many years ago and how we are doing this today are quite different from one another let's understand how our way of transport change from way back then to today let's understand the evolution of transportation at first the only way to get from one place to another is by walk but walking could make you very tired and you can't really get that far just by walking then people realized that we can ride animals to get from one place to another so they decided to ride animals like horses elephants and camels but animals can get tired too then we invented wheels from which we can make many vehicles which could move one of them is the carriage or cart it was pulled by an animal like horse cart another like one bicycle which has to run by our legs to get it move then we made engine the first engine got its power from the steam that is very hot water the power from the steam engine made the wheels move this is a train that run with the steam engine soon we found other ways to power the engine such as fossil fuel coal petrol and diesel are types of fossil fuels this is a train that runs with the coal engine as we were able to make smaller engines we could make smaller vehicles such as cars look at how much the car has changed over the years but wait all of the things what we have talked so far are ways for us to move on land knowledge has allow us to move in air we can fly in sky we have helicopters and planes that let us move through air we even have rockets that can take us off our planet into space we even have technology to move through water like boats ships and submarines it doesn't stop there technology is changing every day you already have things like the solo wheel the orbit wheel and the walk cart that help you to move one place to another in such interesting unique ways then this even the self driving car can you imagine a car that does not even need a driver who knows what transportation technology will bring in the future what are you going to be the new scientist or inventor who creates the next new transportation technology